Hello. Right, so um, in this one, what I've done here is I have rigged up this guy. I showed you in a previous video, got bones in it. So um, I thought I'd try and puppeteer him. So I dragged out my very old, I mean very old, Logitech Wingman uh, joystick. I do have an Xbox 360 hand controller, but I can't get it to work in Windows. I'm probably just going to buy a, a proper controller. Um, anyway, so inside the evil one, otherwise known as 3D Studio Max. So this utility has been around for ages. So uh, you, with motion capture in Studio Max, you can assign a controller to um, capture your data, which could be your mouse or a keyboard or as in your keys on your keyboard or a MIDI keyboard with controllers on MIDI or um, like I'm doing here a joystick so let's um, let's test a few things so I've got three different controllers set up here um, I didn't name that one so we're gonna and um, when they're red it means that we are using them so we'll find this in the utility panel and um, for instance if I go to my layer panel here and I get rid of him for a minute um, so on this guy here, if I go in here to there, we can see we have a rotation. Uh, we have a rotation motion capture, okay, and I've named it um, head tilt and pitch. And in here, what we've got is what we can do with it. So what I've done here is the the Y rotation and the Z rotation um, of the bone here I've assigned them to joystick X and Y and then I've set them how how much of a scale they're going to work and uh, if I need to flip the axis if they're on going left and it's going right sort of thing those sort of things so with that in mind what we can do is put this guy back again uh, go to motion capture. Da, 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 da. Hello, in the wrong one. There we go. So uh, neck twist. Um, the joystick. You can twist the the actual stick left to right, as well as forwards and backwards and left and left to right. You can, you can twist the the axis of it, the Z axis of it. So that's what we've got set up here. And if I click on test, if I go left to right, we go left and we go right. Okay, so that's that. Oh, I didn't like the look at that. Let's keep going. Uh, it does sort of like not like being recorded. That's very true. And I'll get rid of that for the moment. And we've got the heading in pitch, tilt and pitch, so we can test that. So forwards goes forwards, backwards goes backwards. And if I go left, it tilts it to one side and that then tilts it to the other side. Okay, so that's that. And we can hit escape to get out of that. Hopefully we're still recording. I think we are. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Right, and we can untick that guy. And then in bone 8 rotation, bone 8 is the basically the bottom of the beak. I've set that up for the trigger. So it's just an on-off thing. If I trigger it, closes it, opens it, closes it, opens it. I like it the opposite way, but it doesn't like doing that um, <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, I'd like to flip it. I mean, there's got to be a way to flip the motion so it's always closed when I press the trigger. It opens at the moment. It's always open, and when I press the trigger, it closes. It's a bit sort of back to front, really. But hey ho. So if I turn them all on, it'll definitely crash. Let's just get rid of that for a minute. It's just not happy recording to the screen and doing this at the same time. So if I hit test I can now um, twist the character towards me. I can lean his head over and tilt him back and then close his mouth and open his mouth and close his mouth and open his mouth. Yeah, so that's what we're doing here. It's, um, you know, pretty groovy. Ah, okay, that's back to front. Yeah, my, my twists left and right are backwards. That's why I'm getting confused when I'm trying to puppeteer it. Yeah. So this is good. So I pull back to go up. I push forward to go down. That's all cool. And uh, the trigger works okay. But the tilt to su and the twists to the right, it goes to the right and that goes to the left. But the tilt over is I'm going to the right and it's going to the left. Okay, let's let's fix that then. Hit, hit escape on that. 
so pitch so what we've got going on is let me think I think it's Y isn't it so let's try uh, let's try the Z put flip on and test it that's still the wrong way if I'm going there that's yeah okay that's the wrong one then so undo that we do get a few screen redraws Try this again. There we go. So wherever I was a minute ago, which I'm thinking was that, and I flipped it. I'm going to edit that binding and flip that one. Okay, and then test you. So keying over should be to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Okay, that's cool. We do get a few glitches because it's not a happy bunny. And there you go. So, uh, it's only because we're screen recording at the same time, it doesn't like the idea of all this shenanigans <laughs> going on. So, yeah, I think we're cool though. Uh, we were cool. Oh, we didn't have test on, you idiot. Hello. So, we are cool. So, move over to the left, close the mouth, open the mouth. Hello. And all that. There you go. Good sound effects. And uh, yeah, there you go. So we're sort of animating with a joystick. I do really need to get hold of a Microsoft for Windows joypad because I could do so much more with this, I reckon. And uh, yeah, there you go. It's all good stuff, isn't it? And that basically is, um, is that really poorly explained. So yeah, you assign different rotations or or uh, positions or whatever you want to do or scales, and then you assign them to a joystick, and uh, it's all good. So with that, and bye. <laughs> okay, it's fun. I just realised it's quite good fun, isn't it? It is. It's, it's quite good fun, isn't it? For good fun, it's definitely good fun, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, or isn't it? Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not good fun. But yes, it is good fun. There you go. So yeah. So how much you can do with this? I don't know. What do you reckon? Yeah, definitely want my trigger finger not to do that. I'd soon have a analog controller um, with limits. That'll do, I think. Yeah, we're cool. So that's enough of testing, and we'll say ta-ta.